You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. By going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com, you can make this possible. All right. Y'all know what time it is. No charcoal grills are allowed. Not a new oh, what? I got you, Carl. Yeah, um, illegally selling water without a permit? On my property. Whoa! Hey! Back number. Give me your You don't live here. I'm uncomfortable. All right, y'all. Last week at a CBS in Los Angeles, a white, crazy ass white woman lost her damn mind. Press play. Yeah, she's on drugs or something. <laughs> no, I'm totally, I just hate niggers. Fuck you, niggers. Oh, baby. Take a break. I hate niggers. It's okay, we're calling the cops on you. I would, you're kill, I would in kill a nigger, but the law says I can't kill the niggers. If the law didn't say that I couldn't kill the niggers, they'd all be dead. Where's my license plate number? Well, y'all, guess what? Police are, are investigating uh, this crazy uh, as white woman, uh, saying that what uh, she was involved in was a, yes, hate crime. Now, her tirade, which has been viewed nearly two million times on Facebook as early as today, again, sparked an investigation uh, and has gained her the internet hashtag, uh, hashtag cook. Ku Klux Karen. Now, the L.A. Police Department said a hate incident report was taken following the outburst. She also apparently uh, works as a costume designer uh, and has worked on several different television shows. Uh, and so, oh, guess what? She's fired. Y'all know what has happened. She got fired. Mm -hmm. Heather Lynn Patton <laughs> ain't got a job anymore. I keep trying to explain to y'all I don't mind why folks losing their mind because all they keep doing is losing. Now, she's 49 years old. Again, she has worked in the film industry doing costume design uh, and has worked on uh, other roles uh, as well. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, Teresa, Heather ain't got no job. Heather ain't got no job. Heather ain't got no mindset. Heather ain't in taking her medication. I don't know what it was, but it's very unfortunate. Uh, you know, to, I'm, I'm not sure what transpired, but I think what, what gets me every time is when there's always an investigation into the video that we clearly see that she was out of her mind. Um, but again, we'll wait for the investigation and looking forward to a future report. But I think saying she's out of her mind is letting her off the hook. It's Damn crazy. right. We always say they lose their mind, but when white people lose it, we always become niggas. That's always at the top of their head. There was no provocation here. There was nobody here. This woman is is shouting at the top of her lungs what she really feels in her interior. And of course, today she's remorseful. Now she doesn't have a job. And then she was inebriated. And then it was, I had just lost a job. And so I was feeling away. But it's black people's fault. So we become niggas when it's convenient for white people. And then they cry when there's a real consequence to say, I didn't mean it. I made a mistake. I make lots of mistakes all day, but I don't go around calling people racial slurs when I make a mistake. I don't go around, mm -hmm. you know, cursing at the top of my lungs in the CVS in the middle of the day for no good reason because she went full white woman, right? And one of the first rules, you never go full white woman in public. And when you do, you face the consequences. But what is she going to probably do? Post for her privacy. Yeah. She's going to apologize and she's going to cry. And then... Hopefully, this will blow over. For well, her. Mustafa, she worked on this television show called Medium, and now uh, another person uh, wants her removed from local 705. Sarah mm -hmm. DeSago Orego says uh, they will, she called for other union members yep. to file complaints yeah. against yeah. her to, requ to request her expulsion from the union. Hit them in the pockets. That's right. When people want to act crazy, hit them in the pockets. That will get their attention. She wasn't drunk. 
because she was walking real straight <laughs> to that car, made some quick little turns, and said what she needed to say, took a couple more steps, made some turns. What I think happened was she actually listened to an old Richard Pryor album, and then she came back and said, you know what, I think I'm going to try this out on folks. And she tried it out, and she got jacked. So she has worked on uh, Heather. Heather uh, has worked on Dennis Leary's FX drama Rescue Me, mm -hmm. Patricia Arquette's NBC series Medium. She also was the set costumer on movies such as Patterson, The Book of Henry, and last year's Tribeca uh, Song of Back uh, and Neck. She also was the set costumer for Sarah Paulson's upcoming uh, Ryan Murphy Netflix mm -hmm. Ratchet. I don't think that's gonna happen. No. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, Heather ain't got no job, y'all. And look, and I keep telling y'all, white America, please, by all means, if you choose to continue to show your racist behavior, yes, right. please, please do so while cameras are rolling. <laughs> so therefore, more of you can lose your jobs. Mm -hmm. And so, what I hope is, Black Hollywood, now that we know that there's a costume design yes, position right. on the show Medium, mm. I would certainly hope flood a resumes where black people would flood in to the show <laughs> in order for them to be hired. And I keep telling y'all, the more they keep acting the food, mm -hmm. we can end black unemployment. That's right. right now, That's right. every time they lose one of their jobs. <laughs> All right, folks, back to our Goldmark Unfiltered video in just one moment. November 7th through the 11th, we'll be in Cabo, Mexico, that's right, uh, for the Life Lux Jazz Experience. Gerald Albright, my alpha brother, will be one of the folks who will be performing November 7th through the 11th. We'll be broadcasting Roland Martin Unfiltered there that Thursday and Friday. We want you guys to come out for an amazing four days of a wild experience. You talk about music and food and, and, and libations and spa and golf, all that good stuff taking place at the Omnia Day Club Los Cabos, nestled on the Sea of Cortez in the celebrity play playground of Los Cabos, Mexico. It's going to be an unbelievable uh, jazz getaway, folks. Again, a uh, crazy time uh, we plan on having there. Lots of different mini concerts, daytime excursions, including the Spirit of Jazz Gospel Brunch and Jazz Sunset Cruise. Confirmed guests Comedian actor Mark Curry, as I said, Jill Albright, Alex Bunyong, Raul Madan, Incognito, Pieces of a Dream, Kirk Whalem, Average White Band, Donnie McClurkin, Shalaya, Roy Ayers, Tom Brown, and Ronnie Laws, Ernest Quarles, and more. For more information, go to lifeluxjazz.com. That's L I F E. L-U-X-E-J-A-Z-Z.com. Again, we're going to have a great, great time. I want to see you guys there again November 7th through the 11th. So while everybody else is freezing all across the country, we're going to be having a good time there in Los Cabos. And so uh, I'm looking forward to doing it. So again, lifeluxjazz.com. Get your packages now. Book your airfare. And let's have a hell of a four days. Grown folks, you know how we do. All right, folks. I'm back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.